still got her, her jacket on. It's staying on. Keen. It's not making you any cleverer, Alana. More clever. Cleverer? Yeah, exactly. Okay, so, so for this video, we thought we'd do a little challenge. We've put the link to the study that we're going to talk about in the description. So have a little peeksies. Oh, fun. See what you think. If it's gobbledygook to you, then welcome aboard. <laughs> um, and in case you didn't get that from the study, it's actually done on mice. All right. Yeah, so, no, I didn't get that. Yeah, you didn't get that? No. So why is it so interesting, Dr. Mack? Well, we Prof. know that both fibre and prebiotics have an effect on our gut microbiome. Yeah, I know that. But most studies look at the changes to the microbiome caused by specific particular prebiotics. This Chinese study compares and contrasts the effects on your gut with fibre, with a prebiotic, and when you take a mixture of the two. That's what we had when we got our study done. It's important as it gets us much closer to real life where our diets usually contain a mix of different nutrients and food types. So what did they find then? Genuinely interested actually. Right. Yeah. Good. Are you being sarcastic? No, I am. Okay, good. Then, then we shall begin. Firstly, all three groups, fibre, prebiotic and both, saw a change in their microbiome. Okay, so we conclude that it's fair to say that fibre and or prebiotic will change the community of microbes in your gut, which we kind of knew. Yeah, I was going to say that, I sort of knew that already. Okay, but, intriguingly, Alana. I am intrigued. Good. Carry on. Colour me intrigued. The study did find that the effect of the different microbes in your gut were different depending on the three groups. So, the two groups that were given the prebiotic or the fibre saw that one type of bacteria went up and one decreased. Okay. Okay? But the third group, the lucky ones, mm -hmm. <laughs> that were fed both a fibre and a prebiotic saw the diversity of different types of microbes improved. Oh. So which we know, it like basically made the diversity better, which we know is good for having a healthy gut. Okay, so what do we conclude then? That prebiotics and fibre in your diet is good for yield gut. So you, you should have both rather than one or the other. Pretty much. So basically a diverse diet. But remember, Alana, all is not certain. And if you go back to the first video, you'll see this is an RCT study. And it's also done on mice. And as far as I'm aware, you are not a mouse. <laughs> Well, I'm quiet at a mouse. Anything but a wallflower. <laughs> uh, so the sample size also of the group of mice was quite small. It was only 24. So the sample size was small and it was on mice. So basically we need bigger studies in humans to make sure that this has got the big thumbs up. But it's leading in the right direction. So fibre and prebiotics, good for your gut. Which we knew.